Hello, welcome to Mr. Lacey's Introduction to Music Maps. Our music map has a way of visually representing what is going on in the music. The example you're seeing here is from Dvorak's Symphony No. 9, the Fourth Movement. I'll show you now how the map works. It's traced with the finger. So, as you can see, the map shows some of the events that happen in the music without actually showing the notes. In this case, I chose to use a very angular kind of pattern and shape because that's what the music sounded like to me. Notice also that sometimes it represents pitch, these notes got higher and higher, while other times it doesn't, in this case. Another thing to note is that sometimes motives repeat themselves. This motive here shows up three or four times in the music, but I have only written it out once here. Uh, this is the idea of the first part of a motive, but the second part, it repeats itself and has a different ending the second time through, and so it is shown twice. Uh, and it's up to the presenter to recognize where those are and be able to trace appropriately through the map. The same motive does show up later. I chose to repeat it out visually again because I needed it to go in a different direction. Sometimes shapes are long, some other times they are short. It's entirely up to the creator of the map to decide how they wish to best present, um, to present the material. I'll run through it once more so you get an idea. Now that you understand how the map goes together, I'll show you how that works. for music students in this class is that they do not have to do the whole work, only about a minute and a half of a musical segment. Thank you.